If you've ever experienced a back injury, you probably know just how crippling it can be. In today's video, I want to talk about some different back braces that I've discovered over my years of injury and throwing that can help you if you're having a back injury or help you prevent it if you haven't had it yet. First thing I really want to stress is the importance of warming up. That above all else can be one of the best things to help prevent back injury by warming up your muscles, warming up your hips, warming up your legs, warming up your back and your arms. Everything in your back is connected and there's so many nerves that run along your spine that any injury in your spine can cause problems. So warming up is the most important thing to help prevent back injury. That includes running or biking to get everything moving. Here at UVA, we do a bunch of hurdles and stuff to warm up your hips, leg swings to further warm up your hips and legs. You can do lunges, you can get uh, little bands that can go around your legs and knees that you can do strides and steps with and stuff to help warm up your hips. Uh, there's a lot of different options you have to warm up, but that above all, like I said before, is the most important thing that you can do. Really making sure your muscles are well warmed up and stretchy enough that they're not going to pull stuff out of place because that's when you start to get the problems. Now, since you're throwing or lifting heavy things, that's also a completely different set of issues. Without proper technique can start to cause injuries. Just the torque on your body from throwing heavy implements also can start to cause injuries with your body. So I wanna go over some solutions that I've found that really helped me out. If you've got a training room at your school or access to somewhere with the hydroculator, I think they're called, uh, the whatever stainless steel things you'll see in training rooms or other places will have them that have the heat packs in hot water and you can, before you throw, before you do anything, you can put that on your back to help warm up your back muscles and things like that. Your other option, I got uh, this, I've used it a ton. It's been a, a savior. Uh, before practice, I'll plug this in and lay in bed. I basically went to, I think it was like Walgreens or Walmart, one of those, I forget now, it's been forever since I've had this, but it's just a pad that's got some heat coils running through it. Uh, you plug it in and it's got just some variable temperatures. Plug that in, lay on it. It's great to help you warm up. If you wanna bring it with you to practice and there's an outlet somewhere that you can plug it into, you can plug it in and lay on that before you start your warm up. This isn't something that allows you to skip warm up. You still need to warm up, but it can just help accelerate the warming up of your back muscles to help prevent injuries. Your other option that you can do similar to a uh, thing like this is some icy hot or something like that. And that just basically tricks your muscles into getting blood going in your back. That, that's another thing that helps keep you warm. And again, that doesn't mean that you can skip warming up. You just is something that can help you so you can help prevent it. The first thing that I really like for preventative measure is uh, a back brace like this. I actually got this one in Hungary. It was about like five bucks and it's just a solid piece of this kind of stretchy material. It's got Velcro. So you can put this around your waist and uh, Velcro it together. And this basically just provides warmth. If you've got a shirt that's you know, too short or even too loose, you can get gusts of wind blowing up your shirt and cooling down your back muscles and you really don't want that to happen. So this is a good solution that you can just wrap it around your waist and if there's wind, if there's anything, it'll stay warm, it'll hold the heat in and it'll help keep your back muscles warm so you don't have any issues. The next thing I found is the most common kind of back brace. It's a brace that has a double layer of straps. So you wrap on the first one and then you've got uh, two more straps that you can also tighten that'll help pull everything a bit tighter. Um, these kind of pull from the sides and they give a bit more support. It really helps engage your core more. Um, that's really what they're for. And this one is a cheaper one that uh, just has a padded thing in your back, again, to kind of keep it warm. Um, and it, it doesn't have any real support in the back other than uh, just helping engage your core from the different elastics that are kind of pulling everything tight. A big thing to keep in mind is that when you've got a brace like this on, it's gonna help engage your core which is great, but it's also almost starts to take over for your core a little bit. So it's important to uh, not wear it when you're in the gym doing some like rehab exercises and things like that. So if you're doing core exercises, I wouldn't wear it just because that way you can strengthen your core because if you're throwing with a brace like this on, it almost starts to weaken your core because it's like an extra layer of muscle. So your muscles don't have to do as much work. So it's important to continue to do rehab if you're gonna wear something like this, but it's also something that can really help prevent it and something that I, I really recommend. The next brace I wanna get into is something that I see a lot of throwers using, uh, specifically javelin throwers being a event that is so much impact on your body and you're arching backwards and doing all this weird stuff. Um, you also see it quite a bit with hammer throwers because it's a similar situation where you're, if you've got bad technique, you're pulling backwards and doing things. So to have something like this, and these are the Nordic belts. I'll put a link in the description below to these two. Um, it's the same concept of the uh, double strapped belt where you put on the first layer and stretch the second one. The difference with this one that I really like is it's got these... Uh, 
these ribs that go in the back and there's what is there five ribs in the back um each of these little slots has a little rib in it so that's just something for a bit more rigid back support and it's kind of the next level up for something that i think is good again this is kind of something that when you put it on it helps engage your core and it kind of pulls from the side and it feels good and it's quite a bit of support and again it activates your core so that's nice but i've actually got one more thing out from this that's a belt that i've found that's been my favorite belt and definitely my favorite for the amount that i feel it tighten my back and as well as engaging your core something about the function of it just uh i feel it tighten on my back and it feels like it's really helping support my back more than just kind of wrapping up and holding in my core and it's this belt by best back i'll put a link in the description below i feel like it also has like quite a bit of support uh for the rigidity i guess of it in your back but also the amount of tension that i feel like it tightens on my back and it's my favorite belt so far it's been something that i've found really helpful and for me when i was going through a lot of back injuries to have something like this to put on just uh help give me the support the core strength tightening and uh, allowed me to actually make it through the season before i had my surgery and felt pretty good the next thing i want to talk about is a weightlifting belt there's a few good functions of the weightlifting belt that i think are really helpful first of all obviously for lifting and if you're squatting heavy as everything kind of compresses and your core wants to go out it's just holding everything tight in place and just gives you this extra firmness so if you're trying to go for a heavy squat or something like that i would put this on first of all to help prevent injury and also it can help you lift more because it helps keep everything tight Again, this is one of the things you don't want to rely on and you don't want to wear this all the time because eventually it'll start to weaken your core and back. So if you're doing high reps of squats for not a lot of weight, I'd probably recommend not using it just to allow the core and everything to strengthen because they're all obviously important muscles that you want to strengthen over time. Um, but if you're going heavy, it's something that you can toss on. It takes a couple seconds. will help you lift more and help you feel good and prevent injury. Another reason the weightlifting belts are really good are also for throwing. Uh, specifically for me for weight throw and hammer throw there are events that the weights in front of you and it's so heavy and the faster you spin it's hundreds of pounds of force pulling you forward so to have the extra support over top of uh, one of these belts um, I mostly wore the weightlifting belt when I was wearing a belt like this um, these belts are pretty thin so the weightlifting belt went over it no problem I could still tighten it up and just having that extra security of knowing my core is not going anywhere and it's not going to give out because of weakness it's held in place by the weightlifting belt was awesome it gave me extra support i really liked it and that was something that helped me so if you've got a back injury and you're trying to work through it this is a solution that i think can work well anyway i just wanted to give you guys a brief rundown on a few of the things that i found really helpful uh, some different resources everything that i talked about i'll put a link in the description to the best back i know i can find that online and the nordic belt i can find those online so those links will be in the description for the beige belt and just the uh black kind of uh belt to warm you up i'll find things that are similar to those and put those in the description i tried to make the video as quick and as informative as i possibly could if you have any further questions leave them in the comments and i'll try to get back to everyone as soon as i possibly can if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if you really enjoyed it subscribe to my channel i've got plenty of other videos coming out I want to talk about some ankle braces and knee sleeves that I found really helpful, as well as tons of other throwing content and different how-tos. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.